about to drink some watermelon whiskey and Coke. So my pre-workout for today is gonna be whiskey and cola hydraulic and a half a scoop of Demo Day carb powder. So normally if I was making just a pre-workout, I would only put like eight ounces in it. But since I'm gonna be adding the demo day, I'm gonna do about 12 ounces. That way it's not just overly concentrated. Oh, it smells so good. So apparently on axandsledge.com, they can't keep that flavor in stock. Like it keeps selling out. It's like the best one. So I have the big melons flavored demo day and I'm gonna use a half a scoop of that straight carb powder for energy. Let's go do some deadlifts. All right, so we're gonna do some deadlifts today. I uh, got my buddy Daniel here, just to uh, demonstrate a little bit. So um, basically you wanna rock right up to the bar, get it directly over the feet. You don't need your feet too wide, although some people do like to deadlift with that wider grip more to feet but I like to stay close in that way you get a little bit more of a hip hinge in it and obviously you can do a prone grip supine grip or reversed and so you want to pull your shoulders back keeping that back flat a lot of people like to round their back up and pull that way it's the worst way you could possibly do it so like I was saying keeping that back flat you want to push through the heels knees and hips hips and knees just like that Make sure you lock out knees and hips at the top. A lot of people like to try and get a little bit of extra. It's definitely bad for your back. You're not really doing much there anyways as far as muscular development. It's just a nice clean lockout. Just like that. So if you were to do like a reverse grip, is there any difference? like muscle like are you going to grow differently on one side than the other personally i'm big on balance um, i think balance is key and if you're going to be doing a reverse grip it is going to pull a bit differently on the lats and the shoulders right and so if you're going to use a reverse grip try and just swap it out between sets right right so that way you're at least keeping that balance or like you know if one day you're only using it this way the next time you do that that's right just try it the other way because, I mean, I do feel a difference on the pull on the shoulders. And I feel like it probably would, if you're only doing it that way, over and over and over, would have some type of effect on the way your lats right. are, are responding to that pull. But, I mean, I don't really know because I, I make sure and keep mine balanced. Right. So balanced. I couldn't really tell you what the exact side effects of that would be. As far as medically or something like that, I, I you know, again, I haven't ever I've read anything that says that you know, you must switch your grips right. to keep balance. But just because of the way I feel things in my yeah, body and the way I'm pulling, than... I feel it. And so I, I, I do like to have that balance. Um, and also, I mean, you know, if you've got straps or anything like that, I've got mine in my truck, but they're not a big, but I mean, straps obviously like, you know, it doesn't matter how you want to hold them. The strap is going to take most of the weight and actually right. puts the weight through the bone structure as opposed to really fighting with that grip. And I would definitely recommend using some type of straps if you're trying to get real heavy and get those big numbers up on the plates um, so that way you can lift a little bit more safer. So exactly. Just like that. So like, and, and two, you said how people would put their, their feet like this. Right, you can do a like, sumo stance. So I mean, or obviously there's stands. gonna be a difference in right. your legs. So basically, the reason why you would go wide is just so that way you've got shorter distance to travel, right? right. You can lift more weight that way. Better so it's one of those things, right. It's one of those things where it's like, when you see guys arching their back on bench press. Right. Yeah, that always drives no me No offense nuts. to anybody, but you're kind of cheating, right? Because right. you're, you're decreasing the distance that the bar has to travel. Yeah. Same thing with that. So if you've got your legs wider, obviously it brings your hips lower versus if you're standing up. Right. you got a couple inches of difference there, right? But that being said, there's absolutely nothing wrong. In a professional setting, if you're doing like that, lifting for any type of competition, they'll allow that. So, I mean, it's not like it's, you know, illegal or right. wrong. It's just, like I said, it's allowing you to put a little bit more weight on the bar, get a little bit more weight up, and it's actually a little bit less stressful on your back. If right. You really feel it out um, and do it differently that way. So if I was to grab it, right, mm -hmm. do I want to bend over more and grab it, or do I kind of just want to stay 
Then you want to sit back just like you are, right? Yeah. So trying to lean over the bar yeah. is definitely bad. So you just want to try and drop those hips down. Okay. And that way you're pulling straight up the leg. Now, does it matter whether I put the thumb grip? I mean, I guess that doesn't I matter. always have a hook grip for yeah. safety, right? Because right. if you don't have your thumbs hooked and you lose control of that bar, it's going down. It's going down and who knows where it's going to fall, right? right. I mean, it's probably not going to hurt your feet, obviously, because you got plates on there. But that being said, you could lose a grip if you're Well, I've seen a lot of people like that. that actually do the sumo and they like get super wide. Like a, I don't know how they don't drop it on their feet. You know what I'm well, saying? Well, I mean, all right, yeah. so let's see. Obviously, they're getting super wide like that, so they don't have to lift it as high. Back looks great, nice and flat back. Good shoulders pulled back, just like that. And that's the nice thing about deadlifts. As you can see, the knee straightens out before the hips do, right? If you're straightening your hips first, you're putting way too much pressure on your back. Doing great. Nice lockout at the top, just like that. And so go ahead and try that reverse grip there and see if you feel a difference. Right. Oh feel, yeah, like it. You feel a difference in the shoulders? I can feel it like holding, but... Right. Do you feel like one's pulling harder than the other? Kinda, yeah. Right. It feels like... Like you're pulling this one back. Right. And this one's holding forward. Exactly. That's why I was saying like, if you're going to try to get heavy and, and you need to use a reverse grip, I'd rather just go to a strap because I mean they're not that expensive and yeah. you can get some nice straps for, for nine, ten. Yeah, I, mean, I think I got these. These are like eleven. And that's uh, you know, when you the, the thing that's I found personally with those type of straps is like once you get this one all wrapped in, then you're like fighting and like yeah. messing with like <laughs> trying to get this one wrapped around. Whereas my versa grips are if you want to get in on here, right? So so the versa grip and obviously the, the wide part goes over the thumb, right? So you just lay it right there. Nice little Velcro attachment. Get it nice and tight right at the top of the wrist. And so literally, it's just there. And honestly, uh, you don't even have to hook the hand too much. As long as you've got pressure on it, you could also do it that way if you want to get a little bit more grip yeah. strength in. Because that's the only bad thing about these, they will rob a little bit of grip strength. Yeah. But Is that like rubber or something? It is, very durable. I actually started using these because I started to get pretty bad tendonitis actually a couple years ago when I was first starting to get into uh, you know my fitness and my, my weights started going up I guess before my my body was ready to to stay with it and so as you can see like I'm just locked in right there pretty easy you don't have to do the thumb hook on those because like I said as long as you got your hands against that strap yeah. it's not going anywhere and like I said it's so much easier to just Boom, straight yeah, under there, rather than having a thin and they're like trying to mess with a strap and wrap right. it with like one hand. And they got the nice Velcro. They wash pretty easy. They're really durable. I mean, I've had these for what three years now. Yeah. They're great. And another thing about Versa Grips, they're actually a pretty good company. So, uh, as a veteran myself, if you buy the camo ones, you actually get a cool little necklace and they donate a set to a veteran overseas, which is always cool. And when it comes to deadlifting, definitely make sure. You get your breathing right too. So exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. The reason why you want to do that, because as you're exhaling, you're contracting all of your core musculature, right? Which helps stabilize your spine, stabilize your core, and also helps you drive down, exerting that force into the core, yeah. lifting the bar. So like a deadlift is pretty much like full body. You're getting the best workout. I mean, a deadlift, I've had actual, uh, I'm going to name drop here for a second, but I've read his book um, and, and totally follow his philosophy. A guy named Mike Boyle, um, he's very successful, very well known in the fitness industry. I mean, he works with professional athletes, college athletes, and just regular everyday people. Yeah. Um, he's based out of the Boston area, Massachusetts. Um, but if you read his book, he'll talk about if he had to pick one exercise to stick with and only do that exercise, it would be deadlifts. Because... You know, you can do a squat, right? And you're getting that multi-joint action. So you're getting that good hormonal release, right. right? That natural human growth hormone and everything like that. And you're loaded up on the shoulders. And he actually prefers front squats and rack formation. But with the deadlift, you're also getting that pull, right? For that back development. And if you're doing heavy deadlifts, you'll actually feel it pulling through your chest too. So I mean, you feel it in your traps. Right, like exactly. I, I've felt it like all the way through the middle of my, my back, all the way up to my neck even. Just right. trying to, not the day of, you know, the next day. <laughs> I mean, yeah, because you're you've got that that pressure, right? On, yeah. And especially if you've got like you know your shoulders locked back like you're supposed to. Again, most people that are trying to get that that kind of gorilla style right. deadlift, 
That's not really good for your back. Don't do that. But yeah, I feel like that's most guys though. Most guys. Well, that's that. ego, right? Yeah. Don't let ego into the gym. I tell my clients all the time: leave ego at the house. It doesn't matter what's on the bar as far as the weights go. Yeah. If you can't properly control the weight, you can't properly keep good body form. And right. Doesn't matter what you're doing. You're really just tearing stuff down and not really building stuff, right? Right. Setting yourself up for failure later, whether it hurts now or whether you hurt yourself in five years. Eventually, you're gonna have some type of issue, whereas if you just kind of be honest with yourself, control what you're working with, you're always gonna benefit from the long run. So yeah. Sweet. Well, man, I appreciate you uh, coming over and right. helping me out with this. And no just problem, man. overall instruction, because I mean, I feel like, you know, there are a lot of people working out at home right now yeah, lots. that aren't getting any type of instruction. Right. And aren't you know they may be doing the lifts but not doing it correctly and they may be hurting themselves and stuff like that so I feel like with stuff like this uh, it definitely helps out man I appreciate it yeah, well guys this is Garrett he's yeah. a local trainer here in Slidell good buddy of mine I asked him to come over and help us today if y'all need any more instruction don't hesitate to reach out to Garrett like I said he's a local trainer here in Slidell if you live in the Slidell area Crossgates Club is where it's at, and that's where you'll find him. Bye, guys. All right, so you just met my friend Garrett. I'm glad that he came over and helped us. Just finished my workout. I'm about to start cooking, and I'll catch you guys later. Once again, I do want to thank each and every one of you for watching this video, for following along with me every week. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button at the bottom.